All right, this is going to be the hardest story that I am covering today. Father of child with Down syndrome says mask was tied around his daughter's head. This is from last week. I don't know how this was not on my radar because I've covered several stories of the abuse of children and this the mishandling of power granted to teachers. So this is just this is a sad story that I just want to see consequences. That's all. The only reason I'm reporting on is so that more people know and that we can raise awareness about the continued abuse of children. There's a special place in hell for these people who have done this to, to this man's daughter. The concerned parent says a teacher tied a mask around the face of his special needs daughter. The mask was quite tight on her face, which was, of course, obstructing her, her ability to speak and her ability to breathe. Well, that father is blaming the school mask mandates for his daughter Sophia's suffering. Fox 35's Holly Bristow spoke with him today, and Holly, he's hoping change comes as a result of what happened to his daughter. He certainly is, and tonight he tells me that he's speaking out in hopes that this does not happen to another special needs child. He tells me his daughter with Down syndrome is non-communicative and was unable to tell her parents that this was even happening. I was quite angry, so I waited four days from the Thursday the 7th until Tuesday after um, Columbus Day to go in and speak because I really needed to calm down. Jeff Steele is talking about his family's reaction when his seven-year-old Sophia, who suffers from Down syndrome, came home from Ocean Breeze Elementary School with a mask tied around her head. When this child got off the bus and had the mask, it was tied around the back of her head underneath her ponytail. Um, and it was quite tight around her face. He says it was tied so tight, she struggled to talk and even breathe. Medically, it's very dangerous for her to do that. She could aspirate, she could asphyxiate, all sorts of medical things that could happen as a result of that, which would then, with forcing her breathing because of her enlarged tongue, it could also cause seizures. The father says he always assumed Sophia was exempt from the mask mandate because of her disability. He's furious no one from the school ever called him. Why in the world, since the mandate happened back in September, and you were going to begin to put this on my child, and now then tie it on my child, would you never pick up the phone and call me and ask me to give me my informed consent, which never happened, which legislation and the IEP requirements require them to do, and they did not follow that. State Representative Randy Fine weighed in on this situation. There's a special place in hell for these people who have done this to, to this man's daughter. Fine blames school board members who voted for mandatory masks, namely Jennifer Jenkins. We watch a state representative say there's a special place in hell for me on television is disturbing. We reached out to Brevard County Schools about this situation. Here's what they said to us. The student was given a mask exemption as soon as the parents made the request to the school leadership. The school district is investigating the allegations made by the family. BPS strives to ensure each student has the best educational experience possible and will continue that uh, continue in that effort. For now, live in the studio, Holly Bristol. When are heads going to roll for this? When are we going to see consequences. Somebody needs to go to jail for this. This is child abuse. And this is like what the fourth or fifth case that I brought up of either a child having a face mask taped on a plastic bag covering their head when they go to the hospital. And now you see they're putting a mask and tying it on with a rope over a special needs girl with Down syndrome. And when there, there's actually a more detailed video where that state rep uh, explain everything that the father told him because he reached out to the father, talked to him directly. Governor DeSantis is aware of this. If you guys aren't aware, I didn't mention this at the beginning. This is in Florida where we don't have a mask mandate. These are school boards going around the governor's executive order. I believe it's even state law now or something where you cannot force masks, but they're going around the governor to do this. And so not only are they doing that, defying state order, they're masking children with special needs, forcing the mask on, leaving the parents out. So he said that the child came home, Sophia did, and she had saliva all in the mask and she had trouble breathing. But we're supposed to believe this is about health. We're trying to save kids' lives. This is, get out of the way, Republicans. You guys are super spreaders. You're trying to kill our kids. But you're over there hog tying a mask around a kid's face with special needs. This is one of the worst of all of them. This is the worst by far, the worst. The girl that can't even talk. Seven years old. 
and they're masking her face and forcing it, leaving the dad out of the, the equation completely. How is this not viral? How is this not being covered by, I don't see this even on Fox News. I don't see anybody talking about it. Not on Daily Wire, not on Zero Hedge, Breitbart. I don't see anybody talking about it. And this is from last week. Maybe that's because, maybe that's, they talked about it last week and I'm just now hearing about it. But this is a just, this is so disturbing. This is not about health. These people are psychotic. And what's wrong with saying there's a special place in hell for you? Yeah, there actually is. If you're going to abuse children, yeah, there is a special place in hell for you. Absolutely there is, 100%. And so for that school board member to get all offended and butthurt, um, how is that a bigger deal than the fact that you just allowed this to happen when you weren't even supposed to be masking children in the first place? So this is in Brevard County, for those of you that live in Florida. I'm not sure what school but I just know it's in Brevard County. I think there should be protests every day outside of that school board until somebody resigns, until charges are brought, because this is wrong. This is wrong and it's illegal and it's child abuse above everything else. Even if somebody who is super addicted to masks, like, yes, mask, everyone, mask all the children. Even if somebody could point and say, actually, it's not against the law, it's still child abuse. It's still child abuse, and it's denying the parents' rights, informed consent. They did it without the dad's consent. But the the state rep who spoke on behalf of the father said that the school at one point called the father a few weeks back because the girl was taking her shoes off in school, and they called him to say, hey, can you help us out? Sophia keeps taking her shoes off in school. We want her to keep the shoes on. They called him to get help and his guidance for that, but not for the mask that they tied around her head. So let that one sink in for you guys. Again, this is Brevard County, Florida, not far from from where I used to live. Actually, it's not far away at all. I don't know what school it is, but the school board in Brevard County, there should be hell to pay. There should be people protesting this right now as we speak. Sick people. This is sick. It's not about health. It's about control. It's about psychologically damaging kids. They can't see smiles anymore. What's germier than a... Let me not even go there. I will piss off the YouTube overlords. And that's why I said this is the toughest story that I had to cover today. So yeah, that's what's going on in a state when we're not even supposed to be masking children. So yeah, that woman, she must feel some type of way because she has, that must be the guilt eating away at her to be mad that someone said there's a special place in hell for those who abuse children. Uh, Where's the lie, lady? Crazies.